a reminder that God and heaven are mysterious. Visions are religious or mystical experiences in the supernatural. It transcends the theological expertise of the church magisterium. It can also be called a revelation. So many people do claim to have visions, but its authenticity is questionable. The Holy Maid of London, the Nun of Kent, her last title being the Mad Maid of Kent. She was an English Catholic nun of the 16th century who prophesied against the marriage of King Henry VIII to Emboldon. Elizabeth was born in 1506 in Abington. She worked as a servant when her vision began in 1525. As at that time, she was 19 years old working as a domestic servant in Thomas Cobb household. She suffered from server illnesses when her claim of receiving divine revelation about the death of a child living in the household emerged. She also pleaded for people to remain in the Roman Catholic Church and continue to undertake pilgrimage while constantly praying to Virgin Mary. Archbishop William Warham and Bishop John Fisher confirmed of her devotion to God. Of course, Barton's fame spread after some of her visions occurred in reality. Reputed people like Archbishop William Warham sought to make sure that none of her prophecies was at variance with the Catholic teaching. He appointed a commission led by Benedictine monk Edward Bocking and Barton's spiritual advisor. Warham later received Barton under Bocking's spiritual direction, making sure she was orthodox to the very later, and this gave attention to her and the Marlin Shrine. In 1528, Barton met with Cardinal Thomas Wolsey and later met with King Henry VIII twice. King Henry accepted her prophecies because it supported the existing order his existing orders. Richard Reynolds and Thomas were impressed by her extreme devotion. Henry was accepting because of his attempts to get rid of Lutheranism. Cardinal prophecies warned against heresy and condemned rebellion. Things took a nasty turn in 1532 for Barton when she prophesied that Henry's remarriage would lead to his death in a few months. The king, on the other hand, began processing the annulment of his marriage to Catherine of Aragon. Thomas More thought that Barton prophecies were made up. He may be right, seeing that King Henry VIII lived for another 15 years and had six wives with 600 lovers. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up and subscribe for more history-related videos. This made Reynolds and John Fisher to distance themselves from her. King Henry handled the situation by defaming her with false rumors of her having numerous sexual affairs with the priest and her suffering from a mental illness. Barton was arrested in 1533 as her reputation was sabotaged. She was forced to confess that she fabricated her revelations. Barton was condemned and punished without a trial. Punished with conspiracy against the king, she was termed a false prophetess. On the April 20, 1534, Elizabeth was hanged at Tyburn for treason. Elizabeth Barton didn't go alone. Edward Bocking, John Deering, Henry Gold, Hugh Rich, Richard Risby were executed along with her. Barton was 28 years old when she died. Her head was put on a spike on London Bridge, the most humiliating action to be given to a woman in terms of punishment after death. Barton may have been seen as a lying voice, but what do you think? Was her prophecy on Henry VIII true, or was it an act of hatred? Thank you for watching to the end. Please do well to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like if you enjoyed it.